the Ice Palace. They give you no indication that you're supposed to go there, other than the fact that it's right next door to Deathfield. After Deathfield, you almost get the impression, oh hey, maybe I saved the world, since there isn't some screeching bitch on the horizon who says, hey, help me. No, you don't get any of that. You just gotta figure out that you have to go here. Or at least I always assumed you did. The first thing you'll notice that this level has is a fanged cock coming up out of the ground to consume you. It will not be the last time that you see a fanged cock in this game. The next thing you'll notice is that there is a very, very unpleasant looking flower with a large headed penis swinging at you. So already you know this place is getting off on the wrong foot. However, once you kill everything, you know, all three of the fanged cocks in front of you in this area, you get to notice that the music and the level are actually quite gorgeous. This is a very beautifully rendered level, I have to say. I did enjoy looking at it, until I had to continue a whole ton to get the fucker done. The level itself is not hard. Although those little ghostly wizard bitches who shoot icicles at you are really nasty. You know any guy that shoots a frozen load is going to be a bitch to kill. And they are. But they're not terrible. Usually a good diving attack or uh, a down thrust that's caught from high enough so you can get four hit points of damage instead of two will kill them. They're pretty frail, just difficult to hit. Often appear at awkward times. And they're also extremely generous in this level. It's almost disturbing how generous they are. It's almost they knew, as they were making a certain part of this level, that they were going to say, Fuck you! And that the player would need to be compensated, shall we say, in some fashion. So at the beginning, there's health at the very top of the level, if you want to risk getting it. One level down from that, you get some more health. One level down from that, you get a... Uh, 3 HP bonus and then down at the very bottom once again you have more health so the opening is just a candy store but for the player who's maybe still not quite up to par with his combat capabilities well that candy store may be very necessary because those big tumbling testicles turn into these huge ice golems and they will fuck you if they hit you. They will castrate you with one jerk from their great hand. That shit, right there, you don't fuck with that. Dude will hurt you significantly. But for the most part, this level is actually pretty laid back. It's almost a scenic little trip. It's like the evil Santa's palace. All the toys are out to kill you. In fact, most things in this place are out to kill you. But all of the fun ends when you reach this bastard. This guy, I could not figure out how to kill his ass. I could not. For the life of me, I could not fucking figure it out. Well, it's actually pretty easy once you figure it out. This isn't exactly how you do it, but it's one method. You get a certain distance from him, you have to kind of play with it and figure it out, and start slashing at him. Just slash at him. You can pin him in the corner, in which case he'll usually try to jump up and fly over you, and then you slash upward at him as he goes by. And usually you can pin him down in something of a routine and actually kill him with the greatest of ease. However, it's not always that easy. There are times or he'll get loose, or he'll be smart, and you just can't pin him down and he'll fuck you. Either that or the time will fuck you, because you don't have enough of it when you get to him. And the worst part about it is, is that he's the single most annoying boss. Mini-boss. Bo Mini-boss. He's not the most annoying boss, but he almost was. He's the most annoying mini-boss, and you have to fight that cockless asshole several times. In fact, I think it ultimately amounted to four. 
is very unpleasant. But at the least, they compensate you at the final boss of the level, who's painfully easy so long as you know how to move and fly. And if you could deal with the fact that it's a Super Nintendo sprite that is barely clothed, then it's pretty good payoff. But holy fuck does that flying douchebag with the sword take a lot of effort to kill. Actually, by the way, as, a, as an aside, I had no idea what this bitch was going to do, and I came in here with like half-life and I killed her. That should give you an idea how easy she is. Which is unusual for Act Razor. They don't often, you know, give you a reach around like that.